This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're taking a look at the REI Travel Organizer Medium, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. Let's dive in. So before we dive too far into this, I should mention that this is the only size currently available, but they do denote it as medium. And I'm pretty sure there used to be an older version of this that had multiple sizes. So I think we'll see those eventually come to this newer version as well, but only time will tell. We have on this medium version recycled nylon. It is blue sign approved. So that's sustainable and better for the environment. I overall, I overall really like the look of this. It doesn't look super outdoorsy, which is kind of what I think of for REI co-op stuff but I think it looks very nice. It works well for the city or the trail in a pinch. More, I think, urban travel um, than you know outdoorsy stuff, but it'll still work for either, I think, if you really need to. We have YKK zippers here. Nice and easy to operate. No real issues there. Um, YKK is some of the best in the business. I feel like I've said that a million times over since starting here at Pack Hacker, but they really are very, very good. I should mention also that at the time of recording this, this is the only colorway available, but knowing REI, you never know what they might come out with. So keep an eye out on their page for different sizes and different colors. On the buckle here, we have a magnetic Wujin clasp here. Pretty easy once you get used to it, if you haven't used one before. Uh, it is kind of small, so if you have some like range of motion issues or large hands, you might struggle a little bit with that, but I've gotten used to it. I don't have huge hands or anything like that, but it is, you know, just takes a little bit of getting used to, as I said, and we have a strap keeper on the strap here, which I dig. On the side, we have a little handle, which is very small for me personally. It's not super comfortable with all four fingers, but if you just do three, it's a little bit better. And I really like this on the side because, I don't know, it just feels better than if it were on the top. I think it would have been fine on the top too. Just, I don't know, maybe it's just nice to see something different every once in a while. And something to note about the strap here, so I have it kind of stowed away right now, but there's a little loop that pops out of here. And so you can use this to attach it to your tray table. So this goes around the back side, and then you loop the strap and then you loop it through here. And then it kind of attaches to the tray table and you flip the tray table back up. And then you have like a little organizer sitting in front of you and you can get your stuff without having to, you know, put it under the seat, put it in the overhead compartment or wear it while you're flying. I think that's really neat and doesn't really get in the way because you can stow it away super easily. So I do dig that. We have these nice little hip huggers right here that I always call them. Kind of nice transition between the strap and the um, uh, main pack here. And also you can stow away the strap if you want to, which is nice because you kind of turn this into a little pouch. And I'm not going to stow this all the way in here and show you, but this fits inside here as well. So that way you can use this as a kind of a pouch inside your pack or just kind of for storage until you get to your location and you want to actually use this. So talking more about the harness system now, there isn't a lot going on here, but this is such a small sling that it doesn't really bother me, at least personally. So we have a very thin strap here, no padding, no aeration. But again, because this isn't huge, like I have this about as packed out as I ever would pack it out. And this strap still didn't really bother me so much, even with the weight that I have in here. So if you're wearing a really thin shirt or a tank top, it might get a little bit rough, but even then I don't think it's the end of the world. Um, comfortable enough for especially the size that it is. The back panel has a little bit of just inherent padding from the materials and stuff, but no real like back panel to speak of. There's no aeration or anything like that. So if you are wearing this on a super warm day and it's really tight to your body, it might get a bit sweaty, but I don't think any more than you'd see another sling do so. So overall pretty happy with the harness system here, or I guess you could say lack of harness system. You are kind of able to wear this as a crossbody, as a hip, hip pack, really whatever you want to wear it as, but I found it most comfortable when wearing it um, diagonally as a crossbody. Just maybe it's a personal preference thing, but it's just a little bit more comfortable for me when I'm trying to like be active and do things compared to on my hip, whereas I kind of just feel a little bit of weight down there. But again, it's nice that you can stow all of this away while you're in transit and kind of use it as a pouch or just kind of stow it while you're not using it. And then when you get to your location, you can use it as kind of like your day bag while you're walking around the city or taking like really short day hikes or something like that. You can also just grab it by the handle like that if you need to go from point A to point B and you have this stowed away. So overall pretty happy with this, but it is very minimalistic, no padding or aeration to speak of. So as you can see, I'm currently wearing it crossbody on my front. And this is how I typically liked to wear this thing because I have quick access to all of my gear. It's not super big, so I don't feel like it's really weighing me down. And it's just, I don't know, it's very comfortable this way, at least in my personal opinion. As I mentioned earlier, if you're wearing a super thin shirt or a tank top or something, this might dig in a little bit, but it's been actually kind of warm here. I know when I'm recording this, it's March in Michigan, so you wouldn't think that, but we've had some like 70 degree days. So with a thinner t-shirt, no issues to report. 
Hope I don't hit the mic here, but I really like how easy it is to transition this, to put it on your back and just kind of like if you're riding your bike or something like that and you want to have it on your back instead of on your front, you can do that. And as I mentioned, you can wear it in a bunch of different configurations, but I really do think this is where it does its best work because you have that quick access to your gear, whether you're walking through the city or taking a quick day hike. Obviously, you're not going to have a place for a water bottle or anything like that. Um, you could attach it on the handle here, maybe with a carabiner or something, especially if you have a lighter water bottle. But overall, just a very minimalistic pack and it feels very comfortable in front or back carry. So if you're finding this video helpful, please throw a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. But moving inside now, we do have a secondary compartment to work with. And this is a pretty minimalistic pocket here, not a ton of organization or anything like that, but I do have my headphones stowed in there right now. I like having those there just so I can grab them when I need them. And sometimes I would put my phone here as well. I do think there's a better place for it in the main compartment, but sometimes I put my phone in here or my wallet because it is just a little bit quicker because there's not as much going on in here. So in the main compartment, there's more going on. I have more gear stowed. So if I need something quickly, like even if you're waiting in line for like the, um, you know, airport security or something like that, you need your passport or your ID, you could shove that in here real quick, have it ready to go. And then once you get through, put it wherever you want to put it long term. So just a nice quick access pocket. There is a, a bit of padding here, which is kind of nice. I'm not exactly sure why it's there because I do think there is a dedicated phone pocket in the main compartment, but it's just nice to add extra protection for the rest of the stuff if you were to you know, bump into something if you're clumsy like me. So overall pretty happy with that second secondary compartment. Moving on to the main compartment, as you can see, quite a bit of room to work with. And that zipper goes a long way down, so you have quite a bit of access here. There is a little gusset to stop it from going all the way, um, but you do have very good access here, especially for the size of the sling, I think. So I have this thing jam packed right now. I'm kind of using it as like a tech pouch and a sling or just all my daily carry stuff and then some tech stuff. So that way I don't have to carry a tech pouch and I can charge my stuff whenever I need to. So two wall chargers there, an anchor power bank, big anchor power bank, probably too big for the sling, but it works. Um, and then I have my three charging cables. So that's all my charging needs right there. And then this is the pocket I was talking about that I think is just designed for a phone, as you can see here, just a nice flat pocket. It has a softer material here on this side, kind of hard to see because it matches the liner material, but a nice soft material. So you can face it this way and you'll get that soft material. Or if you face it the other way, you'll get all of that padding that I was talking about. Um, so long as there isn't a bunch of stuff inside this front compartment that could damage your screen. So pretty good either way you put it, at least in my opinion. On the back wall here, we have these two mesh compartments which don't stretch a ton, but they do hold on to gear pretty well. They hold on to my chums, sure shorts wallet pretty well. It's just nice to have a place to lock things down in addition to this liner pocket over here. But the rest of the space, as you saw earlier, can fit bigger stuff. Like I had my battery bank in there and these kind of stacked on top of it. Um, nice to be able to just put big stuff inside of here, especially for how small this thing is. Typically when you have a smaller sling, you can't fit larger items in here. Like I could put my GoPro and I have like a, it kind of like almost looks like a, like a gun, but it's like a, a tripod for my GoPro that I like I bring with it almost all the time. That was a weird way of explaining it, but that fits in here easily. I can also stuff up my phone and my other gear as well. We do have a little short key clip on here. Very short, kind of hard to even really show you it, but I actually like that it's so short. So I either want a, um, a key clip to be really long or really short. So if I want it to be really long, it's so I can open my door with my key without taking it off and I can just live there like forever. Or if it's not gonna be really long, I want it to be really short so it doesn't get in my way. So I can put like a spare key on here or just like, I don't know, like sometimes I'll have a key on here and then I have my keys inside my wallet as well. So it's like if I lose this or something happens to this, I have a spare key right here, but it's not really getting in my way. It's not really, you know, just flown around too much. Or if you're going on a trip and you wanna throw your key on there, you're not gonna need it throughout the whole trip. It's just there, it's safe, it's attached. And then when you get home, you have it, you know exactly where it is. So overall, pretty happy with the org gear and just happy with how much gear I can fit inside of here. This is not a huge sling by any stretch of the word, but I'm able to fit quite a bit inside of it. And also the ability to stow these straps and kind of turn it into a pouch, I really like. And also being able to attach it to the tray table is very unique, I think. So that way you have like a little organizer in front of you. So like if you're on your flight and you're like, I need to charge something, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to snack. You can just grab it without having to go up or down or wear it and be a little bit uncomfortable after just sitting wearing it for an extended period of time. I don't think it does super well as a pouch on its own, but the fact that this is a sling that can transition into a pouch is a win for me. So there you have it, the medium version of the REI Co-op Travel Organizer. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your gadget smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.